Hey there project managers and productivity enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an incredible tool to share with you that will revolutionize the way you manage your projects. So get ready to streamline your workflow with Agile brought to you by App Unbox. Let's dive in. All right guys, here we go. Meet Agile, the ultimate project management software designed to simplify and optimize your workflow. Whether you're a solo entrepreneur, a small business owner, or part of a large team, Agile is here to help you stay organized, collaborate effectively, and achieve your project goals with ease. So here is the entire Agile interface. As you can see, Agile will help you to get so much things done, forms, deals, contacts, tickets. You can stop juggling customer interactions. All right, so let's see. It can help you to manage customer relationship. That's quite nice. Uh, productivity, you can streamline collaboration with teams and clients, boost your creation with AI, manage your finances like a pro. Uh, appointment scheduling is also made easy. Put your business on autopilot. You can manage your team easily now. Never start again from scratch. All right, guys, so trust it's trusted by 20,000 plus businesses. Well, pretty cool. As you can see, there are so many reviews everywhere. And then we have the application, which is available for Android and iOS. That's pretty cool. Agile is built for accountants. All right. It's built for copywriters. Okay. So it's made for multi-purpose. That's the thing that they're trying to say. You can have integrations that amplify your efficiency, like QuickBooks, FreshBooks, Zapier, HubSpot, Google Calendar, Zoom, Stripe, and Calendly. All right, here are some other features that will help you to grow your business like file manager, product management, send announcements, online chat, custom branding, email uh, templates, multiple currencies, customized themes. And guess what? It's free to try. 91% members recommend Agile to a friend. All right, guys, so since it is free to try, then we have no problem trying it out. So we are going to get started now and are going to get using it. But before that, let's see what else are we you know, finding downstairs. All right, before we get started, we're just going to see the pricing of this uh, tool. As you can see, let's go to the pricing page. So in the pricing page, we have annual pricing and monthly pricing. As you can see, basic is always free. And pro users will get you know, give a $9.99 per month. Premium users will give $14.99, which is $15 per month. Okay, so, and then we have featured by plan. All right, so there's nothing here. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out annual plans. You can save 20% on annual plans, which is pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and see annual plans. All right, so if you pay annually, then we're gonna have to pay $7.99 per month. And if we get the premium pack, we're gonna have to pay $11.99 per month. All right, now let's go ahead and see if there is any lifetime deal. Agile lifetime deal. All right, so guys, as you can see, the lifetime deal is going on Agile uh, on AppSumo. All right, so we're going to open up and see products Agile. All right, so lifetime deal of Agile is running here at only $79 for lifetime deal. All right, that looks quite valuable. Let's see. So guys, uh, if you're paying $8 per month and annually, it'll be $96. But here you're just gonna have to pay $79 and you're getting Agile forever. So no need to pay annually or need to pay monthly. You're gonna, just gonna pay $10 per month and it's like you're getting the whole thing for lifetime at only $79, which is pretty cool. And let's go ahead and see if they have money back guarantee on Agile. Oh my God, they have 60 days money back guarantee. So if you purchase the application and you don't feel like this is helping you out or anything, then you, within two months, you can just return and get full refund on your cash. So nothing is wasted. So as you can see, it's really helpful. And then we have the plans, single plan, five automation, one email plans and we have multiple codes. As you can see, 10 codes can be stacked up together. All right, so we, we're not gonna use 10 codes, all right? So 10 codes is too much. Pretty sure that this is the pro plan and that's the premium plan. And if you need more than them, then you can just go for more codes, like three codes, you get 15 automations, three email clients, six pipelines. But if you don't think that's enough, you can get more 
and even more and even more seven hundred ninety dollars all right so whoever has multi-millionaire business can go with 10 codes but i'm not going with 10 codes okay so as you can see we can we can buy agile in a very cheap rate only 79 dollar and lifetime the lifetime deal link will be provided in the description guys be sure to check that out and also guys be sure to subscribe to our channel to get more application reviews like these so let's get started with agile first of all we're going to start free Alright guys, so we are signing up here and I don't think signing up requires credit cards, so no problem at all. We're just gonna sign up. Alright guys, so we have inserted all the information and as you can see, we have to now confirm our email address. So we're just gonna go ahead and confirm the email address. So the email confirmation has been sent to my email address. And there we go, on top we have Agile Admin, now we are gonna confirm it. As you can see, email confirmed, so now we are gonna click here to log into our account. We're just going to close our email address and close this one and now we have uh, our email address password we're going to remember and log in so here's what our role in the company is we're going to select our role we're going to select construction trade for our company is uh, so here we go how to manage with pen paper how do we manage well we have spreadsheets and word documents what else okay if the phone is not necessary how did you hear about us all right we heard about you from here we go. Okay, let's go. All right, so what is our average annual revenue of the company? So we're just going to select the lowest one because we don't have that much data and new company, of course, the low one. All right, so we have been here less than a year. Let's see. Which features would we like to use first? We would like to use all the features. Why not? So invoice. How many people are here? So we're going to select a, the medium one not too much invite your team to agile you can invite your team and manage the entire agile application with your team but there's no one uh, i'm inviting no one just finishing the task and opening the account so here we are at admin panel first of all as you can see we can uh, integrate uh, with our favorite apps like integrate now uh, let's see send fox by app sumo all right so send fox is also by AppSumo. wow we can uh, integrate asana time champ yeah, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, Zero, Connect to Zero, and so much more email connections. So we're not integrating anything at the moment. We're just going to skip ahead. All right, guys, now we have admin panel dashboard. We can disable our account. Then we can set up our business information, finance settings. We can create or import contracts. We can create forms. We can invite teammates. We can check our productivity. We can check our financial situations. And then we have CRM, which is customer relationship management, customer relationship, dashboard, accounts, contacts, tag list, deals. We're going to explore them all. So after that, customer relationship, we have productivity. We can check projects, tasks, and time tracker. Wow, cool. And then we have finances, which will give us dashboards, estimates, invoices, payments, expenses, credit note, uh, subscriptions, accountings, uh, accountings coming soon. Uh, we will not be provided with it now. Then we have docs. Well, we'll check that later. Schedules, events, and event types. Okay. And in HRM, we have team, uh, team members, designations, attendance, holidays, leave, payroll, and their salaries. All right. Then essential, automate, wikis, announcements, products, packages chat files and reports so, okay so then we have templates and then we have agile ai so let's see what agile ai is here welcome to the future of productivity meet agile ai all right so let's see what ai is giving us as you can see ai is writing a contract write a contract for digital marketing so as you can see i can write a contract for digital marketing this is just an example of what ai can do and it can also chat well so AI can write uh, digital contracts for us and uh, turn leads into customers, potential customers, and and it can also chat when we are not available to chat. All right, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna start with CRM, okay, guys? So let's get to the CRM, CRM dashboard. So in CRM dashboard, we have customer relationship management, and as you can see, we have our sales funnel, leads by source, total accounts, total contacts, deals and pipelines, total revenue, every data will be here. After that, we have the counts of our customers, and but we, since we have no customers, we are just, we have just seeing a blank thing, we can add customer counts here. Let's see how to add customer. We're gonna select account name, customer one, account website if customer has website their description is a test customer their address line well not needed actually so 
Well, so we can we can just insert the cities. We're just gonna enter the test state one postal code one 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 one, and the country will be USA. Type what type of customer? Well, you're a regular customer. Okay, regular. Then we have to choose agents. Select sales agents. Well, no. Well, we have to select agents like we have team member which are sales agents but since we don't have any team member we need to add sales agent add our team member but we don't have agents so skip this part then we have note for the customer and then we have save as you can see now we have a customer their website email tags sales agent everything is here and when was the customer created it's also here so after that we have after accounts we have contacts as you can see in contacts, we also have zero contacts, but we can add contacts the same way that we have added account. Then we have tags and lists. We're gonna be introduced to forms. Well, I didn't actually want to jump to forms, so we're gonna jump to that later. And we're gonna go to tags and lists first. So we have list here, we can add new list. So we're gonna add a test list. Let's go ahead and save it. So as you can see, we have a list here. And we have a test list here. You can uh, create contacts under this list, test list, or you can create more listings. You can have a regular customer list, irregular customer list. I mean, you can set uh, divide customers with lists, which is pretty cool. Then we have deals, CRM pipeline deals. So in CRM qualified pipeline deals, we have these deals qualified, contacts made, demo scheduled, and if you create more deals, then they will be uh, popped up here. As you can see, navigation started, proposal made, whatever the sales pipeline is, you can just add here and manage them uh, accordingly with customers. So let's go ahead and check one. You can add deal. All right, so we can have deal name. We have, we're gonna select just deal, select pipeline sales pipeline okay we we already have that why not let's try that again qualified deals deal name test sales pipeline qualified contract made okay so if we here we have the stages of deal so qualified then contact made demo schedule proposal made and then negotiation has been started so we just have been qualified per stage no problem sales agent we're not going to choose any sales agent we have the deal deal money amount let's go set the money we are going to set one thousand dollar type well existing business all right then you can select contact oh since our contact list was empty then we are unable to select any contact at the moment but we can select an account as you can see customer account was there existing one but the contact we haven't added any if we have had any contacts then they would have popped up here so let's close up and save the deal as you can see guys that's how you can create pipeline deal too all right guys as you can see it has been submitted and we can just move this way and we can just move our contract to wherever necessary if it moves off stage then we can just drag it and move it no no shenanigans no hasslements here as you can see no tickets here but you can create tickets for your customers and resolve their issues while give them your customer support who has what problem you can just create and manage your tickets here then we have forms Right guys, so here you can create a form in order to gather, generate leads, gather leads from your clients, potential clients, and that's how it goes. So create form and make it really appealing for your clients. And then we have productivity. In productivity, we have projects, tasks, and time trackers. So let's go to projects. We have entire project. Let's create your first project and get things done. So let's go, why are we waiting for? Project name is gonna be test. Okay, project category will be web development or digital marketing. Okay, you can also get new categories if you want, but I don't need new category. All right, no results have been found because we don't have clients. That's why no results have been found. But if you have more clients, then the result will be here. So if client can view tasks of this project, you if you want your clients to view the task of this project, you will tick it. You can send task notifications to clients and you can allow manual or time logs. Well, that's not a good thing to have. Self-assigned as project member. Okay, client can view milestones, all right. Client can view and participate in discussions. Well, clients are not allowed to discuss, so we're just gonna close it. Then we have start date. We're gonna select a start date and select a deadline. 
or we can work without a deadline if needed. All right, then we're gonna type down project summary and then type down note. We have our budget info, hours allocated for the project. All right, after that, we're gonna save the project and the project will be saved. All right, guys, so as you can see, the project has been created, total one project, not started. Uh, when you're making progress, the progress bar will pop up here and you can see that where your project is going. So now we are moving to tasks. All right, guys, in task mode, we have a task projects category okay so we can add tasks for our project so let's go ahead and select the project okay so our project is here task category we can add new category which is minor task major task and what else is it this is the task one you can set description you can start date of course the date should be less than the due date of the project or it will not make any sense so we're gonna assign it to there's only one member in our team so we're gonna assign it to him all right so it's billable repeatable no it's not repeatable it is available you can set the priority of the task here as you can see high low medium so we're gonna set high priority on this task and save so as you can see guys it has been assigned to the our team member assigned by this team member so only one team member here nothing to be so funny here and due date is this priority high status is incomplete incomplete is red it's showing that yeah we need to complete it really fast and then we have time tracker you can write about this time log you can select a project and select a task write about this time log going and then you can start up the as you can see you can start off the timer and it will just go indefinitely until you have done the work and it has been stopped as you can see that work is going on and it will not be stopped it's just going on online and it will go until we stop it so we're not going to stop it we're going to stop it at the end of this video and see how much longer it's running and then we have finances where we can manage our finance dashboard as you can see this is the dashboard how it looks like you can manage your recent payments recent expenses uh, sheet invoices all right so we have estimates for our projects tasks etc as you can see you can create estimate here then we have invoices so we can create invoices for our customers here and we can manage our payments from here wherever we have made payments it will pop up here then we can go to expenses to see that wherever and then we can go to expenses and see where we have made some expenses and how you can create expenses from here and we have credit note well there's nothing nothing much in the credit note and but and then we have subscriptions we can manage our subscriptions of the clients which client have what kind of subscription well of course regular clients will have premium subscription so we can add subscription with our potential clients i mean our current clients <laughs> okay so then we have accounting which is not available now it will be available soon as you can see then we have docs so just like we um, uh, so here in docs we can write down things and we can just store it like notes so nothing special here then we'll go to scheduling we can schedule meetings as you can see events so what event have been passed cancelled or upcoming we can manage all events creating and we can view them here and then we have event types what type of event do we usually have in our company as you can see we can add event type name description embedded code action so what type of event are we usually joining we can select event type here and then we have hrm where we will have our team as you can see we have total one team and only one teammate all right that's great so then we have first we have teammates then we have teams we can add more team uh, like you have a company and you have two teams one is the sales team one is the production team so you can have a sales team and production team you can add teams here like you can set two teams as you can see this one will be the production team all right description since it is necessary and starred we can type down production team again after that we will select sales team and since we need to fill up the description we're filling it up save so we have sales team production team 18 seconds ago and then we can go to team and assign teammates action edit 
So we, as you can see, we can assign them to sales team or production team. I'm gonna assign him to production team, as you can see. Or we can assign them to both teams. Wow, that's really cool. I didn't know that was possible. Hats off. So now we can get designation. Which team member gets what designation you can add here. And then you can get their attendance. You can manage holidays. As you can see, this guy was absent. <laughs> Alright, this guy was absent from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This guy was absent the whole time. Alright, so we have a holiday. Selected year. As you can see, we can add holiday in our calendar. But no holiday is preset here. But you can add the holiday to which day your company will be off. And you will be out of business. Leaves. If someone has any personal leave. And then we have leaves. If someone asks for personal leave, we can assign them leaves and now let me show you how will you assign them as you can see if this member wants to have a leave uh, casual leave sick leave earned leave okay so we're just gonna go for casual leave date you can select 18 which is in absence i'm gonna chill okay status approved or pending so the status will currently be pending. We will approve it later because it's 18. We're gonna approve it tomorrow, but you guys will not see it. That's why I'm gonna show you how to approve it right now. Okay, so we have it here. As you can see, the status is pending. We can edit here. And then after editing, we're gonna change something. As you can see, it was pending. You can just reject it or approve it. So we're gonna reject the leave. No, no member is getting no leaves today. Then we have payroll. All right, so the month of July, a year 2023, mark approved leaves as paid. No, mark absent days as unpaid, as you can see. Uh, so everything will um, be managed here and the payroll will be set automatically. Include expense claims, add time logs to salaries, and then run payroll, wow. So as you can see, net monthly salary is nothing. Then we have teammate salary and actually how much uh, you, you have contracted with your teammate. So let's say uh, his initial salary is 30,000. We're gonna take it. Net month salary is 30,000, okay? Then we're gonna go to payroll. Mark absent dates as unpaid. You're an unpaid guy, man. Then we're gonna run payroll. As you can see, this guy was not uh, present in any single day. So after running the payroll, it's still showing us zero dollars. So that's how it works. And the days it was, the days this guy was not present, it has been marked as unpaid. And mark approved leaves as paid leaves. So um, we're not gonna select any approved leaves because there is no approved leaves here. That's why we're not selecting any. Then we have essentials you can automate. But since it's a bit of feature, we're not going in there. Then we have wikis, announcements, products, packages, chats, files, and reports. So as you can see, we can have lots of essential features. We can manage our products and packages here. We can add product and multiple products, make packages. We can select packages. We can, we can select announcements and announce to our clients what product is coming up, what product is gonna be with them soon. And then we can chat with them, which is also AI manageable. And now back to the timer that we have created. As you can see, admin. Well, since this task is done, well, it was no task, but if it was just a test task, well, it is done anyway. So let's see, we're stopping. And as you can see, it took us eight minutes to do the task and it could have run indefinitely. Like you can run, run it for two to three days if you need two to three days to complete a task, you can run it for two to three days, no problem. So guys, don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to streamline your workflow with Agile. Visit AppSumo's website today, the link is down below in the description, and take advantage of the fantastic discount that they're offering. So guys, don't miss out on the incredible opportunity to streamline your workflow with Agile. You can visit AppSumo's website today and take advantage of the fantastic discount that they're offering. Only $79, 92% discount. And if you don't think this Agile is helping you out in between two months, then you can just cancel your subscription. Yeah, I mean, you can just, you can just ask for a refund 
and try it out for two months and make sure it's right for you. So if you don't think it's right for you in two months, you can just get your refund and throw away Agile. So guys, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Also, let us know down below in the comments how Agile has transformed your project management process. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay organized and keep those projects on track.